Zechariah and Elizabeth's child, John, was no ordinary man. In fact, Jesus himself proclaimed in Luke 7:28, "I tell you, among those born of women, none is greater than John." What made John the Baptist so exceptional? Welcome to the unveiling of grace program of the Marthoma Youth Ministry of the Mumbai Diocese. Tomorrow, we will be meditating from the gospel according to St Luke chapter 1 verses 57 to 66 based on the theme John the Baptist greatest among those born of women John's birth was a remarkable event he was set apart even before his conception announced by the angel Gabriel as the one who would go before the Lord to prepare his ways Born into unexpected circumstances, John's life was marked by divine intention. John was a visionary, a voice crying out in the wilderness, preparing the way for the Lord. His life was characterized by humility, devotion, and an unwavering commitment to the divine calling. He led a life of simplicity, clothed in camel's hair, nourished by locusts, and wild honey echoing the prophet elijah who was to come before the messiah crowds flocked to john not because of his attire or peculiar diet but because of his powerful message a call to repentance and the preparation of hearts for the imminent arrival of the long awaited savior as we meditate from this passage let us look into three aspects which must enrich our living during this advent season number 1 divine fulfillment of god's promise god's faithfulness in fulfilling his promises is evident in the birth of john the baptist to zechariah and elizabeth a couple previously barren john's miraculous birth is a testament to god's sovereignty and perfect timing we can find hope and encouragement in our waiting seasons god's promises may not always unfold in our expected timelines but just as he fulfilled his promise to zechariah and elizabeth he remains faithful to his word this teaches us to trust in his timing and have faith even when circumstances seem impossible number 2 the unique calling of john the baptist John's distinct calling as the forerunner of Christ is significant. His purpose was to prepare hearts for the coming of Jesus, emphasizing on repentance and turning back to God. Like John, each of us has a unique calling in God's grand plan. We are called to prepare the way for Christ in our lives and in the lives of others. This means living a purposeful life centered on repentance sharing the gospel and being a channel of god's love in our communities lastly the greatest among those born of women jesus' declaration of john as the greatest born among women signifies his exceptional role in preparing the way for the messiah john's greatness lay in his humility commitment to God's will and steadfast dedication to his calling true greatness according to Jesus is found in humility and obedience to God's will we are challenged to emulate John's humility and obedience in our own lives by surrendering our desires to God humbling ourselves and obediently following his will we can reflect true greatness in his eyes Dear friends, as we journey through this Advent season, let us reflect on John the Baptist's example of humility, dedication, and unwavering commitment to God. Let us prepare our hearts and those of others, just as John prepared the way for the coming of our Savior. May God bless us all with these words. Amen. Amen.